Hey there, I'm Oni, and this is my new favorite game. The game is called Warships Mobile, as opposed to Mobile Warships, which, in my opinion, sounds a bit cooler, but probably is losing the meaning. Anyway, uh, you're a ship, you're shooting other ships, and it's pretty, pretty cool, straightforward, and maybe now few really cool things about the game is the fact that every ship offers slightly different gameplay and as much as you're progressing and, and buying more stuff you can experience completely different tactics from being a ship to being a, a land cruiser with a nuke on your back uh, you know you can be a submarine or you can be a bomber you can be a jet plane a jet fighter and it's 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 crazy the, the variety uh, anyway what's happening here I, i'm currently occupying rfs moskva which is a pretty decent and quite nasty cruiser as you can see this is the final of one of the games i've decided to record because it felt i was chasing those guys and it felt like it might be interesting and i i find it pretty cool actually so decided to share it um, in a moment we're gonna come back to a um, clip I've made a little bit before, so the same ship will have different skin on it, just anticipating questions if there will be any. Um, anyway, what you can experience in this clip will be uh, gameplay from, I wanna show you how um, USS Missouri works, because it's a, this is a VIP play, um, ship, so uh, I assume that not many people has it. And then we're gonna go into USS Zumbalt and we're gonna go for HMS Queen Elizabeth, which is a um, craft thingy. This is really amazing. Um, oh my god, I have this on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, so we destroyed the other people. Now we're gonna start with, uh, I wanna show you we're gonna do like a uh, slight undercover tutorial um, we're gonna talk about a few things I wish I knew before I started the game so first of all when you start you're gonna be in tier 1 which is rank 1 this is the gold number below the name of the ship you're using any any ship actually so it'll be like 163 or 66 or something like this so first thing you want to do in order to take advantage and I'm going to show you in the next couple of games where I'm talking about it, what I mean you want to take the turret and you want to upgrade it um, now the thing, the way the rank works, the tiers the strongest tier will be, tier 1 will be the one with the number 1.99 the moment you go to 2 you're automatically going to tier 2 which is the strongest tier and the strongest number there will be ship with um, number 299 and when you start buying armory and different turrets and different um, rockets and stuff like that you will notice um, that from one you know within a scale of one you can upgrade you, your armory pretty much completely and make yourself a beast so especially when you have a turret and this is another thing uh, guys strongly suggest um, stop using ships with torpedoes it's an absolute waste of time in games like this buy something with uh, with the turret uh, not with the turret with the um, uh, mortar because as you will notice in this clip the mortars are absolutely devastating everything and I'm, I'm just wrecking ship after ship in each game another thing um, yeah so first of all you wanna upgrade your turrets Second of all, stay below, um, you know, the, the next tier. So you try to figure out in the shop what can you go and how you can combine what you need. Um, I would suggest in fierce first tier, just focus on your character. And um, next thing, while we talk about that, um, upgrading those things doesn't uh, raise the rank up. So you can buy. You can have your ship on 1.99 and then for the uh, coins you're gonna get the green ones. And you can upgrade those skills, uh, you know, to the max and probably when they're maxed, I haven't maxed one, uh, one armory yet. So I, I cannot confirm that I'm pretty new in this game so far. But um, it doesn't change it, so you can completely just push the damage in your turret 
and depending which one you get perhaps accuracy yeah, you can improve a little bit but then those those little ships are beasts and and they just deliver so much fun i love it right another thing um, you want to put attention on is that if you want to participate in the event which will happen you're gonna have on the main screen on the left of screen um, as many ships you get as m many more points you can get daily so i suggest a large number of ships if you have time uh, I'm, I'm, i have so far the amount of ships which i allowed you know my daytime allows me here and there to to go and have a few minutes and and burn some ships and just get this point I'm hoping to get that um, main um, price for that event um yeah mortars not mortars not torpedoes guys it's it's very important because first of all torpedo it takes time before it gets second of all your enemy gets notified that the torpedoes are going and it has time um especially if you have long distance torpedoes um, I mean, perhaps on the first tier, maybe because there is a lot of newbies and people who aren't really experienced with this game yet. But if you go tier three, four, um, it will be really difficult on the long distance to get someone. Um, I have one ship just to check the torpedoes and I, I'm completely not enjoying it, to be frank. I'm purchasing most of the, I, I currently purchased most of the ships from tier one and two. I have all the ships from tier one and two with mortars. And yeah, we will see later on. Anyway, yes, stay with the tears. And one thing, um, this is not uh, Call of Duty or Counter Strike. When the game starts, don't be the first one on the battlefield. You will see in the third match in this clip, um, this is the first match. And the second one, we're gonna annihilate them as well. And in the third match, I'm gonna completely, I'll feel cocky a little bit and I'm gonna get myself in a situation that I'm surrounded with the guys and they just gonna destroy me pretty, pretty much quickly, very quickly. And we're gonna build a ship in a moment because I just purchased a couple of ships and we're gonna, I think, equip one. I'm not sure is it, it's going to happen now or after this round, but this is like a little presentation of of uh, my shipyard and this is my favorite skin it's really cool it's currently it's on on the moskva but i'm gonna put it on um what's the name of this submarine i think it's uss ohio it just looks badass on submarine and i'm gonna scare all the little girls playing this game and just very quick collection of the battle pass Yeah, I'm looking forward to that ship. I'm gonna check the landing option. I'm not really fun into. Of, yeah, noticed. I kind of panicked a little bit. Was ready to kill. Fortunately, uh, we've killed the mountain. I mean, it's still standing. Ha ha ha. All right, another match. Those guys are pretty spread up. They they shouldn't. You, you, especially if you have a small ship, you wanna stick around a, a big bro here. And you will notice that very often groups of two or three ships will be the ones who will end the round as the winners. Yeah, it's so much fun. <laughs> Those guys on the left are practically, I think, sorted there. I'm gonna check the money number. There are little kisses in the top right, bottom right corner between my fellow guildmate and, I mean, my ally, I shall say. There are no guilds in this game. You cannot communicate with people. But looking forward for this to change. Imagine when you have a clan, like or an, an alliance. You know, like Counter Strike used to be in the coffee shops and people sitting next to each other and playing for hours. I've lost two years of my life with with, with that game, which <clears throat> I'll lose completely one more time. I was I was brilliant, and the skills I've got actually 
in that period, just shooting people on international level. Only I know how much my brain improved. Anyway, as you see, what we're trying to do here, and the guys are kind of clicking. I haven't checked, we shall see. Um, at the end, now this guy's done. Depends how how the enemy operates, but if you you know if you're not being attacked, swimming left to right and just shooting from distance. Remember, you have cannons and you have um, artillery. This is the freaking word I cannot pronounce in English language. Yeah, that's the gun. You see, so now you understand the damage this gun was just creating, and I think we're gonna build this guy up. Yeah. So as you see the rank, the 0 0.61, and then the rank in the bottom left corner of the ship, you wanna always check, are you still staying within that um, tier or, you know, you already crossed it and you have to come back. And you have a couple of things to play with, so depending from your gameplay, do you stick around with other people because sometimes if you are getting more familiar with the ships, you will be able to recognize those ships who offer a bigger air defense. And for example, you can completely dismantle your air defense to a basic unit, giving you more points, you know, to, to spare for a better turret or a better um, rockets. Um, yeah, it just depends how you're playing, you know, how aggressive you are ultimately. Um, the game uh, I've mentioned before, the um, War Thunder mobile, um, kind of thought me because it's much slower, that you have to, the easiest way to win and to score in that game is as soon as you start, you just turn left or right depending where your people are and you, you, you stay behind them because there'll be always a munchkin or two who'll just rush straight up forward in front of everybody and get sorted. <clears throat> so I go diagonally. You will notice that I start very often and just go diagonal left or diagonal right, which kind of allows me to be stay with the with everybody, but just drift slightly behind them and more to the side. So I create distance, and that allows me to observe what's happening on the battlefield and then make different calls depending. I don't like really using mountains to defend myself. I find this pretty easy because you have to stop, and then when you stop before you move it takes some time and you're just being a super easy you know like a sitting duck so um yeah but this game this game initially can be slightly overwhelming so don't get sort of sucked into that uh, just take your time get some distance you know their ships remember just imagine how it is on on, on actual sea you know, when you get smashed, you're done. So they trying really to prevent it. So the tactic you want to use. And the maps are really, really cool uh, in this game because they really... Uh, once Four you're being turn. spawned every now and then in different positions, you know, and, and you fire. just play with people. Who, uh, every time somebody goes slightly differently, you can go slightly differently and, and try, you know, Captain, either be more... Radar straight up forward attack or slightly a little bit more on the back i think this is the game when i'm gonna get beat down pretty much because i see my victim right now and i'm chasing him Ish. Yeah, and sometimes you find yourself that there are your ships, your your allies, uh, allies around. Yeah, I think I got overconfident by smashing that ship. I'm thinking I'm gonna let this left guy in front go. I deal with this. This is my energy, my health on the right. And this is the moment when I was like, trying not to swear. And this 
this is when I'm kind of really knowing that this game is worth it. I've made a mistake and I just went right in front of everybody. And they want to take me down and they do. Alright. So, without commenting that I felt completely left alone by the other two blocks, which are good knows where. I haven't even had time to check on the map. Anyway, and this is this is my revenge. Let's see how that goes. And while we're admiring flying rockets and, and all sorts of different fireworks, um, just a little kind of tip when you're using rockets and you have more than two, for example, you have three, like I have on Moskva, there is a um, good idea to set up one rocket with the timer of like reload around five, six seconds while you get two other ones with the biggest, highest damage possible. And then what you wanna use the one rocket for is that you wanna dismantle their air defense because I see a lot of people getting excited and they just go pow pow pow, they shoot themselves out of everything. And you just pop the flares and it's all gone. While when you have, for example, the situation, you send one rocket, they usually panic and they go flares and then when they go flares you get those three, two you have left and then the next three reloaded that one and those two before his flash bank will be able to repel uh, also it depends on the distance if you're closer you can squeeze a third round um, just like a little, a little footnote which is i know it's kind of obvious and um, it's like a common knowledge, but a lot of people it takes some time, you know, it took me a couple of weeks to figure the, the, those little things out. <clears throat> and yeah, same with air defense, if you have something good, don't be worried, don't worry about the choppers attacking you around. They don't really hurt you. The torpedoes though can, and the rockets can, so... But you will learn quickly to recognize the signals which we suggest. Yeah, this is smoke guys, I'm not really sure how the smoke works, but I have it so I'm gonna use it. Maybe somehow it interrupts their ability to target me, I have no idea. But I can see them, so I assume that they can see me too. And this is really getting slow to the end of this round. And I think after this round we're gonna go and check out the USS Missouri because it's a badass ship and I have a with those ships tier 5, 6 and 7 I have a particular sort of tactic right now I'm playing with and I really enjoy myself because it's just so much fun for me I mean killing other players Killing their ships, maybe let's call it. Maybe don't do that. We're just sinking their ships. We're sinking their dreams and their hopes. Slightly. And yeah, misery. It's one ship I haven't lost a battle yet with. And I'm kind of still working on the shooting because sometimes I'm not really sure is it because of the internet or. Um, waves. Uh, sometimes be careful because if the sea is is you know is stormy, you cannot really shoot through the water. But then the ship you're aiming will turn red. So when it's red, just don't shoot because you're gonna waste um, your opportunity. Oh no, this is uh, this is still um, that's um, RFS Moskva. The badass cruiser with, um, I really like this this chopper Apache, but um, it it's this Apache is you know it's a in real life it's a badass chopper, but in this game kind of it's not really due to the setup he has it has, but I'm really happy to have it. I mean you can buy it, it's no biggie. 
Yeah, so ultimately what happens is you're going to have uh, a turret, you're going to have a mortar, and you're going to have rockets on those. So mortars work exactly the same like those on the ship. You have to aim before you release them. And try to avoid using them against other helicopters because it's really difficult to catch them. They're the best for uh, against the ships. Just use the turret of your chopper against other choppers if, if you do. And very often I just use chopper either to give me air defense on the ship I, I don't have one, or I'm just gonna go and do like a little recon to see where the ships are and how to smack them. Um, also, there is an option that if you start attacking with the chopper uh, a ship and then you turn back into your ship, that chopper will remain attacking that ship and then it will probably die because it's going to get smashed. So <clears throat> when you get back to your ship, the chopper will come back and fly around you. So I'm working sometimes. There will be later a game when I'm going to use. I think it will be a game on Zoom Vault. I like using a Zoom Vault chopper because it has a torpedo and nice rockets and it's a badass um, chopper as well. So. It's like additional uh, pair of rockets and cannons for uh, Zumbot, which I use remotely while I play. But I'm trying to kind of be specific to the ship I'm using to stick to the tactic. I mean, you know, so you don't start playing all the ships the same tactic just because um, Mortar is a killer. I'm just gonna have just the ships with mortars and I'm just gonna go and stand in distance and shoot at people. So trying to be cheeky and you know my guys go right i'm gonna go left and try to surround everybody and just go from the back it's a little bit like in counter strike with knife and just kill the whole clan with with knife and clan wars and it's like final and and they sit next to you or opposite to you and they cry it's just i'm sorry i shouldn't be playing about it <laughs> oh my god man counter strike those such a good times Anyway, what's happening here? I've drifted away a little bit. Yeah, you take it, you bad mountain. You take more. I'll get there, don't worry. I have enough rockets. Watch this. Look, you see? Bang. A few more and we're gonna get through. <laughs> Do I have enough time to get him before he gets smashed? Oh, look, it's a bum. It's a bum bum. Let's get it. Hey bum. Missile strike. Enemy locked in. <sighs> left. Left rudder. Don't you just hate when you Missile when they heal when you shoot them? It's like you, you kind of see that the energy is like nearly there and, and then you see it comes back and then they're behind this freaking unpenetrable piece of rock. But then you're being cheeky and you remember, hey, I have this amazing Apache chopper. Watch this. He tried to repel on my rocket. It didn't work out. No, no, no. Okay. Next. I think now we're going to go for the Missouri one. Ooh, hello. Nuki di nuke. Yeah. That's a nice one. But there is a little catch to play this ship. Like if you decide to get it or you have it and you're not really convinced or whatever. I mean, how you can have it and not be convinced? Like the way I'm, um, anyway, the way I'm playing it, I'm setting it on half speed and I'm going to set it diagonally across the map. Pro pros possibly anticipating where that this is where I'm going and now on the left side of that you see that little arch from the rock I, I assume that the ships will be somewhere there and we're gonna go and check it out and I love this little fella I don't recall the name of this plane but it has three torpedoes and it can make some proper damage this guy <clears throat> 
This guy started flying around me. I think he didn't know that this is it's not a chopper. You have to fly it a little bit differently. Yeah, but he's just flying, he's not shooting, so my torpedoes reloaded, so that's the priority. Enemy helicopter detected. Enemy ship is losing speed. They're flooding. All posts prepare for battle. But as torpedoes you see, all away. the ships are arriving roughly in the same spot, so it's time to get back to the ship. Preparing turret for shot. We're gonna check out what's going on. And I think we're gonna get full speed in a moment and we're gonna start chasing people. Now, <clears throat> you see I'm shooting from cannons and they don't really make massive damage. That's due to the few things. First of all, that other ship is facing me. And in this game, those ships have armory and it's much harder to get them from front rather than shooting them from the back, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. Second thing is that when they are much closer to you, it's just the accuracy, you know. So, oh, that was a nuke. Lovely. Somebody's helping. Warning. Enemy torpedoes. Missile silo ready for launch. Receiving coordinates. Yeah, I think a few more uh, rocketeros and we're done there. Yeah, this guy is flying, he's like, hey, do you want me to take him? I'm like, nah, bro, I got this, look. Boom, boom. Enemy torpedo detected. Stand by I to think, maneuver. come on, and we go. Turret locked and loaded, yeah. awaiting orders. Sayonara. Missile silo reporting. Next week. Target destroyed. We have been detected. Star return. Yeah, did you saw how much his energy just be gone? That's when what happens when you shoot in the back of the ship. So it's really cool if you have time and opportunity, like you're on the side, to go around a rock or a massive island, which you know that they're gonna be on the right side, and from the left you just go around them and you smack them at the back. <clears throat> Best thing is to shoot ships which are being uh, exchanging fire with another ship because very often they don't you know when you're when you're um, on the zoom you don't really see you see that your energy is gone but you don't really see the direction you're getting shot at so you can hide your um, attacks you know, with attacks other people and it just the split second of other people it takes them to realize that sometimes we just slaughter them i was quite fortunate i was lucky there I don't think that the guy knew how to use torpedoes properly. Otherwise, I wouldn't last that round. Which would be a new one, but... Anyway. Yeah, you see, I very often don't pay attention here. And I'm shooting like he's close. When the ship is in distance, you have to shoot a little bit ahead and give the time to the, you know, those rounds to get there. So very often when you aim in the ship and you shoot from the cannon before it gets there, the ship is not there anymore. Or you just get, you know, a portion of it. So that's the difference between the turret and, and the turret and the, the cannon which I'm not used to it and it takes me a moment to click with it but very often it's already after the game so I'm still struggling to learn this okay I think we're gonna go with zoom vault right now which is a weirdo looking ship but I was losing a lot initially and before I've learned to keep my distance and also improving accuracy on the cannons which you you cannot unfortunately change or improve they are permanently uh, attached to the to the ship. It it will battle. make sense and, and make your your game less painful. Enemy helicopter on the radar. Yeah, and this is the guy I like using. Just 
Keep your distance. Torpedo fired. Enemy contact on the radar. Yeah, bark, 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 and retreat. Torpedoes reload. Enemy helicopter closing in. And now we're gonna. Poof, poof. Gun action. Nice Deck gun stand by. It feels like not many people. I'm, I'm wondering uh, I'm, if anyone more experienced on able or able to answer me this question is watching this. Please let me know. Does this game have bots? Okay, because I know that other games this sort have, and <clears throat> that will kind of explain why some people are just being kind of not really uh, smart about what they're doing. Uh, like you're watching here. And that's the one. See. So you're gonna pop a little bit in here and then send a little bit there and then come back to the ship. Release those little beauties and then come back to the chopper and repeat. So while this is a game about warships, I'm currently flying, which is actually for a mobile game, it's pretty freaking amazing to be honest. <clears throat> you have this um, War Thunder which offers you to do tanks and planes as well, but it's just um, so weird to, to guide those things like tanks and planes, it's just so uncool and weird and uncool anyway so i'm sticking with ships there and the ships are like easy peasy you know nana ships if you want to have some action this game gives you that action but initially again like i'm saying if you're getting overwhelmed that game the um, war thunder mobile it's a it's a pretty cool game to start your adventure with you know naval mobile games because uh, to be honest with you, I'm a fan of first-person shooters, and this game, it's like on a completely different level. You can really manage your gameplay, you know, and use the map, and use your boat, and the, the distancing and everything. Like this guy, he's trying to be cheeky, right, and he's chasing me. That's not a good idea, bro. I have too much shit on my ship. Yeah, if those torpedoes will got me, get me. I'm not sure what kind of torpedoes, but if they'll be good one, I'll be slaughtered. <clears throat> and a skill skin. That means that this ship is a badass. And I can see already that the mortar is here, so it is. Now mortars have that massive delay, so you have to kind of be smart as well with aiming and be precise, because if the boat is um, facing you, you want to aim a little bit below the point, uh, the, the, the nose of it, I'm not sure how to say that, but where the boat starts, you know. There's little things sticking outside of water when people are like hanging and fishing and doing stuff, you know. <clears throat> anyway, not where I'm shooting right now. But 
Yeah, and especially if you shoot, you know, if it's sideways, you wanna aim a little bit in front of it so it gets depending from the distance. I'm pretty sure that you know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying it because if you don't, now you know. Yeah, those mortars are just on another level. There is another ship when I have two. And I have two good ones and I feel like I feel like a bully, seriously. This, that's another ship I haven't lost the battle yet because it's just overpowering and I didn't got myself in the shit yet. Oh, is there a bum bum? Oh, it is a bum bum. Oh, it's a bum bum under bum bum. Seriously, that has to be bought. Has to. Mm. If you get a series of rockets, why won't you just submerge yourself in the cold water of this ocean? And end of the round. Is about to happen. I hate it. All right, now we're gonna go for the carrier. That's the word I was looking for. Carrier. Oh, the the, the ship is carrying. You know, that's why it's carrying for everybody. All right. So what I'm doing with this? A little tactic for people who play carriers because this is a completely different gameplay to everything you're gonna experience in this game. Um, I have Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth, and due to the fact that this, um, I have completely, I don't have a single gun on it, um, <clears throat> I'm not really swimming forward ever. First round, which I call, uh, I go backwards and I'm trying to get into a diagonal position, which as you see takes a little bit, but it's okay because we have planes and we're gonna use planes in this, um, in the gameplay with carrier, obviously. So I'm gonna set up chopper first, just in case somebody will fly closer to just do some damage potentially. And I'm gonna use um, jet planes first <coughs> to do a little bit of damage here and there. Now, because the jets will get renewed, I think they renewing, they respawning every thirty seconds. I'm not really scared to lose them, and I'm trying to kind of do a little uh, recon here, reconnaissance to see where the enemy's ships are before I get into my B2 bomber, which is it's badass plane. Now, I'm not considering myself as a super duper flyer here. I'm managing my gameplay to the point that it doesn't frustrate me and it actually delivers a lot of fun. But just yeah, initially it's it's a little bit frustrating when you when you're not used to this type of games and operating the plane with swiping your finger across and stuff like that. Also aiming the bombing with anticipation, you know, you have to anticipate and hold the way you like the fly and stuff like that. First few games might be you might get a little bit frustrated, but don't give up. All right, so now we're gonna start fly swimming forward. I think I've turned too much to the right, but I'm gonna check it later. So now we see that on the left there is a guy who knows that there is a carrier and he's going to try to smack it and we're not gonna allow him for it. Oh, how cool is what that was that? Yeah, you'll notice that I'm not really the smoothest flyer just here, but I'm trying not to panic and not to be too messy. 
which ultimately if you have few games and you'll notice how um, with what kind of delays the bombs are you know you, you're dropping uh, they're arriving with what kind of delay and with the rockets that kind of makes your life easier unfortunately you run out of the bomb so the bomber becomes pretty useless I haven't figured out yet how to land it on the carrier just yet but if you're interested let me comment I'll keep you posted and kamikaze love this okay so Warning. the Enemy planes uh, one plane left I haven't destroyed it yet yeah if you lose the uh, you, you side wings you wingman sorry just destroy the main plane as well so they all renew rather than have that another kamikaze bang and we're gonna have a drone right now drones are fun but they die easily and unfortunately it's not like they're invisible and you cannot hear them they're being recognized like anything else in the game so and you don't have a single flare to defend them so you have to be careful you're gonna start with the rocket first before you drop the bomb I think two rockets even two times I mean Yeah, so as you see, I'm, it's not even the fact that I'm not coordinated enough to always keep up with the flares when I have a rocket warning. But due to the fact that the planes are dying relatively quickly, the gameplay of one game just takes so much longer. When you have games with ships on tier 1 and 2, it's just the gameplay is like 3-4 minutes, while here you can go completely easily in no time 15. Yeah, I think this guy got lost a little bit and they didn't know that if you push against that barrier it's going to take you to the depths. I'm trying to get that kill. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. Well, let's give this package to somebody else. Hello. I think this is the game in this one that I, that I realized that those rockets underneath the turret you can also use, but you just have to aim directly, like with mortar. Flares ready. Launch the flares. And in a moment we're gonna kamikaze our wingman here. There you go. Heat decoys ready. I'm gonna try to use that last bomb accordingly. I just realized that the ship is kind of doing the same thing which the other guy's ship was doing and before it will kick me out we need to come back I got twice caught by that barrier to the point that the ship was lagging and it was like on the edge of the world and I couldn't do anything I had to restart the game so let's not do that again okay we saved the day Let's go beat some red ships. Jets ready. Your orders, Captain. G 
Jamming system green. Heat decoys ready. Attention, we have been noticed. Battle stations, this is not a drill. Launch the players. Enemy ship is on fire. Jamming system green. Heat decoys ready. Jamming system green. Heat decoys ready. Enemy contact on the radar. Obviously, when you get better in flying, the whole gameplay will be much quicker and more swift, but I'm just not sure is, um, you know, Warships mobile game I've downloaded in, in order to fly a plane. It's, it's a really cool addition and, you know, it's like the game Battlefield. All the, all the games Battlefield, which kicked in during Counter-Strike, which was offering us the game to be a soldier, while next to being a soldier in battlefield you could do tanks and planes and you know all the other stuff it's like call of duty as well so it's a, it's a cool addition and a breakup daily for example when you have and we're gonna have kamikaze then that's it it's a cool break if you you know if you have a nice series of wins with mortars and and ballistic rockets <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm gonna slowly end this monologue. <clears throat> Please let me know what you think. I really love this game. Uh, would you be interested to, to, to see and what type of content from it? Uh, gameplays or more tutorials? Uh, I'm gonna do... I'm, I'm, I have some ideas slowly how to do this one. Um, things I wish I knew before I started the game for beginners. So okay, nothing fancy, nothing. Just doing. something which will make your initial first days and weeks much I easier. Anyway... Um, I'm gonna leave the last few minutes Enemy ship is on fire. and I'm gonna leave you with, with the clip and thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or you wanna share anything please use the comment sections other than that thank you so much for your time and I'll see you next time take care bye bye reporting fire on enemy vessel Jamming system green. Heat decoys ready. Our location has been revealed. Targets on radar. Good job, gentlemen.